Prince Harry spoke a comfortable American accent in recent appearance. Prince Harry appears to be adopting a more a better American accent since stepping down from the royal family, a leading language expert has said. Meghan and Harry have bought a multi-million dollar house in California. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's Spotify podcast, Akuwal Audio, shows Harry using several American expressions. Which experts believe is a sign he has mastered an American accent like his wife Meghan. Jennifer Dorman, expert sociolinguist at Language Learning App Babel, noted that you have learned his wife's accent throughout the podcast. Ms. Dorman told Cosmopolitan, the expression you guys comes up. An American phrase that Harry used to address listeners in both the podcast teaser and during a podcast. In the premiere episode, he even uses the typically American term awesome. Something which elicits a giggle from his American wife when used. Harry says things like love always wins and the power within us, two very positive. Uplifting phrases which many of us would associate with the optimistic attitude of our cousins over the pond. Ms. Dorman explained adopting local accents increases comprehension and social connection with the people around us. She added, it could be that Prince Harry has started to borrow American phrases and words in order to fit in and be understood better by American press. And this could become so habitual that he uses these words when speaking to Brits and Americans alike. Or he may just be learning his wife, interacting at a close level with someone all the time can cause us to pick up their speaking habits. As a result of Harry's move to the US, he is developing a more laid-back, American way of speaking. But is unlikely to fully lose his English accent according to the expert. Ms. Dorman added, Think of the likes of Simon Cowell, Adele and Gordon Ramsay. They've spent significant amounts of time living and working in the United States. But have retained their accents and a largely British way of speaking and interacting with the world. It comes after other experts have weighed in on the Duke's change in speech since leaving the UK. Judy James, behavioural expert, said to Harry's accent is pretty much mid-everything, mid-Atlantic, mid-London and mid-Estuary English. She said Harry's accent, at times, would probably sound right in the Queen Vic and EastEnders. BBC presenter Sangeeta Miska also noted Harry's accent, commenting on Twitter, he's gone a little Estuary English, no. It's now been over a year since Prince Harry and his wife Meghan announced they were stepping away from their senior roles. As working royals, in favor of a quieter life in California's sunnier climes. But has that major move impacted on the way the Duke of Sussex talks? Jennifer Dorman, an expert sociolinguist at leading language learning app Babel. First up, it makes sense that we start with the couple's new podcast, Akuwal Audio, named after their son Archie. So, any clues there that Harry's accent is changing? A few, says Dorman. And what exactly is the science behind Harry's newfound slang? As humans. We have a built-in desire to make connections with the people around us. One of the easiest ways to achieve this is by changing the way we speak, using different words or pronouncing things in new ways. Often without even realizing it, Dorman reveals, adding that this can result in us speaking with an entirely different accent. To the one we'd usually use, depending on who we are socializing with, something also known as cultural frame switching. Studies show that engaging in this behavior, Mimicking the accent of others. Increases comprehension and social connection with the people around us, Dorman as. She also gives another example of a time that Harry favored an American term. When he used the saying pop the hood when describing a car bonnet during a Zoom interview, back in October. Dorman also refers to a video of Harry saying pass the mic and frequently using parta in the below video for the Diana Awards. This almost sounds like the beginning of an accent. Especially since it happens towards the end of his speech, where he might be feeling more relaxed. It could be that Prince Harry has started to borrow American phrases and words in order to fit in and be understood better by American press. And this could become so habitual that he uses these words when speaking to Brits and Americans alike, says Dorman. Or he may just be mimicking his wife, interacting at a close level with someone all the time can cause us to pick up their speaking habits. At this stage in his life. She adds, it's unlikely that he will completely lose his British accent or change the way he speaks. Think of the likes of Simon Cowell, Adele and Gordon Ramsay they've spent significant amounts of time living and working in the United States. 
that have retained their accents and a largely British way of speaking and interacting with the world. It's likely Harry will go down that path. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos. Thank you very much.